Hey everyone, hope you all are doing well. So as part of my large family question series, um, one of the questions that we get asked a lot is what do you drive? <laughs> Which I always kind of chuckle because I just figured that's like a, a known fact. Like when you have a bunch of people, like you buy a church bus, right? Like it does everybody. <laughs> I don't know, but honestly we get asked this question a lot. We get asked if we take two. two. So do y'all take two vehicles everywhere? Um, and so funny thing is when we were going through all the medical stuff with Harper, um, we were, she was admitted in the hospital and the hospital that we have is a teaching hospital. So when the doctors would come in, it was a team of doctors. So I'm talking like there was eight to 10 doctors in the room going over everything with Harper. And one of the things was, is that she was baby number eight. She was like three weeks old when we were in the hospital. So, um, she was newborn, but so we have this huge team of doctors in this, you know, small room and they're asking everything about Harper and well, she's baby number eight for this family, which, you know, was kind of, it, I don't want to say it's a big deal because I don't feel like it is, but you know what I mean? Like people are like, oh, wow. And one of the doctors just looked at me and went, what do you drive? <laughs> it's funny. Kate, my baby's sick. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with her and you're asking me what I drive, <laughs> which I totally understood the question, but you know what I'm saying. Anyways, it was just funny. So. Here's another little story time that I just have to share as well before I get into the van. <laughs> um, my husband and I, as you heard, I'm sure a couple times and in, in one of the previous large family question videos about, you know, why such a large family is, um, we honestly just dreamed of having a large family. And so we knew that that meant one day we would have a beast <laughs> and I'm kind of sitting at a funny angle, but anyways um we knew that we would have a beast and we were excited for that like we didn't i don't know we never really wanted an suv because i think we we're just very practical mindset we knew that you know suvs would take a lot more gas although i don't really feel like we get terrible gas mileage but anyways I'm getting off track so we just honestly dreamed of having a big family and having a large family van and before we even had kids or maybe we had like one or two kids or three kids we would see a big van go by and we would just joke and be like oh to each other you know that's what we're gonna have one day um so when we had our fifth baby we outgrew our minivan um we had miley's number five and we had her when we, she was she born she was born in 2012. so we had a minivan that only sat seven like it had the two um captain chairs is that what it's called and then the bench seat but it you okay what happened harper's out here with me what happened you okay you got a boo-boo you need a band-aid um you know band-aids fix everything so yeah um we also had, so Taylor was, is our oldest, and she was um, six, seven, eight, nine. So she was five when she was born. So we had them also in booster seats, and we couldn't fit all of them in the van. And at the time, like, they didn't have, so we knew that we could fit in an SUV, but we knew that we were going to have more children. And so to us, it just made sense to go ahead and buy a big van. We didn't want to just you know, buy a vehicle and then in two years outgrow it and need to get another one. We're very mindset of trying to stay out of as much debt as possible. So we knew that we would save and purchase the van with cash. Um, so it was just a big deal to us to not go into debt for it. And I'm really getting off track y'all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, it was just a dream of ours to have a big van. So I'm just going to get to the big van because y'all probably don't care about all this. So, um, we saved and we are fortunate enough that at the time my uncle had a dealer's license. I don't know if he still has a dealer's license or not. The big vans are not like something that just pop up for sale used all the time. Um, we have some visitors coming, so I might have to cut this short. Um, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Anyway, sorry about that. Some neighbor kids came. Look at my messy garage, y'all. Anyways, um, <laughs> came to get the kids to play. So, let me get on with my, stop being super chatty. Um, 
anyways, my uncle at the time had a dealer's license. And at the time, the like newer version, like the NV and the Ford Transit and all those were just kind of becoming popular. Um, and we couldn't afford that. So we had to, uh, we wanted to pay cash for it. And anywhere that we were looking, they were still a lot of money. And again, paying cash, like we were on, you know, a serious type budget. So we were super thankful for my uncle. And he was scouring, scouring, <laughs> it's hard to say, um, auction sites. And he found this one, and it was actually in Texas. And I was like, what are you showing me at Van in Texas for? Um, and he was like, no, I'll go get it for you. And we were like, what? Like, you'll go get it? I mean, we paid for a one-way flight ticket. And he drove it back. And we paid for the gas. Like, um, and he actually, he did it. He only slept one night. I've never driven to Texas. So I don't really know exactly how long it takes. But anyway, so he only slept one night. And he actually slept in the van because he didn't, I don't know why he didn't get a hotel. We would have definitely paid for a hotel. Um, but anyway, it's just funny little side note. So. Okay, sorry, another interruption. So, um, in this view prettier than my nasty garage, I'm like, I've been bugging my husband, we've got to clean this out. Anyway, so, um, he, he flew to Texas and drove this back, and we got a great deal on it. It is an old van, but it, so it's a 2003, but at the time, so in 2011, no, 2012 when we bought it, it only had 50,000 miles on it. So it was still, you know, over 10 years old at that time, or it was 10 years old, whatever. Y'all with me? It just had very low mileage on it. And it turns out it was an old church van that it had gotten broken into. And so the insurance company that the church had just impounded it. So that's how come we got it at such a good deal and it was in really good condition. So Anyways, we have definitely worn this thing out because we have had it now for seven and a half years and it's still going strong for us. So, we had decided to just get a big van, like I said, instead of needing another vehicle in a couple years, like if we had, you know, a couple more kids within a couple years, like our track record shows. So, anyways, let me get to the van. <laughs> okay, sorry for my chattiness, but you know, that's just how it goes. Um, so, like I said, it's just an old, it's just your typical, you know, Ford E350. Um, it, you know, the side doors that open, it is actually a 12 passenger. So we are actually starting in the process of thinking and don't you love my paper plate? That was for my lunch today. Um, thinking and saving for a 15 passenger because we really need a 15 passenger um, now. So the thing about big vans is they are made to carry people, not stuff. So we don't have a lot of cargo room. Um, but anyways, like I said, it's just your typical van. We have a booster seat and a car seat on the front row. We always put the baby, whoever's a baby at the time, in the middle here because it's just easier to get them in and out. Then the second row, I guess I should have gotten in the other doors, um, is another car seat. So this model only has anchors for the car seats in the center seat. So we kind of have to get creative um, when we're adding extra car seats. So... Let me go through the other van. Like I said, it is very much loved. And I'm keeping it real, y'all. I did not clean it. I kept thinking, oh, I'm gonna do this video after I get the van washed, but yeah. It's just gonna be dirty and you know, a hot second anyway. So, um, so that's just it. This is how we haul everybody, get our groceries, do our thing. You know, nothing super special or fancy. We don't have a TV. We don't have any of those luxuries. Um, but one special thing that we do have that I will share with y'all is my sign. <laughs> I love it. We just added Drew's handprint right there. I had to get, find a friend to make me one. So anyways, um, like I said, super basic. I mean, but I am so thankful for this van. I was thinking about doing this video and I kind of felt just humbled about it. I was like, it's really nothing special. We don't have a new van, you know, it doesn't have bells and whistles, but it's paid for and we are super thankful for it because it's good old trusty. <laughs> it's had so many names over the years. We've called it old trusty, the beast when we first got it, um, the big van, because at the time we had a minivan. And so to distinguish the facts between the two, the kids were still so little, Big Van and Little Van is what we called them, and so it still is kind of, we call it Big Van a lot. Um, we actually were on one vehicle for over, just over a year while we were saving for this. 
and that was hard. Um, so getting this van was kind of a big deal for our family. So anyways, sorry for the chattiness in this video. Um, but this is it. It seats 12. Um, and we need a 15. <laughs> I was even asking my husband, what's like after a 15? Now that I don't know the answer to. <laughs> um, I guess that's when we would start taking two vehicles everywhere. So, I was going to say something else. I remember when we first got it. So, like I said, when we first got it, we had five kids. And I could take a lot of the kids' friends with us or, you know, my friends and their kids or, you know, whatever. And I would always be super excited whenever I had a full load. I would be like, oh, we filled the van because, you know, we only had five kids at the time. Um, but it didn't take us very long and we filled it up ourselves. So, anyways, that is our van. That is the answer to the question of what in the world do you drive? So, this is our grocery hauler. Um, grocery hauler. Yeah, grocery hauler. Um, I'm just a hot mess today. So, anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to our channel, we would love to have you. Thanks, and have a blessed day. Bye.